Hello, I'm Alan Pierce and I'm with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission Division of Marine Fisheries Management. We're headquartered in Tallahassee, Florida. And we made this little video today to show people how to make a homemade descending device that can be used to get fish refish back to the bottom in a hurry and help increase their survivability. This is a completed one and then I'm going to make show you the tools and make one. But these are commercially available. They come in a variety of styles. This happens to be a style called an inverted hook as you bend the wire so that you have a connection point at the top and a lead on the bottom and a wire that extends down and is sharply pointed so that you can get it through the fish's jaw. Um, as I mentioned, these are commercially available. So if you find one at your tackle store, feel free to purchase one. But if you want to just make one, what you need to do that is simply some cutting pliers, maybe some needle nose pliers to make your bends, a piece of wire, and this is aluminum wire. It's heavy enough gauge that it's pretty rigid, but you can still bend it easily with pliers, and either a piece of monofilament or a simple zip tie to connect your lead. So we're gonna we're gonna quickly put one together here, hopefully quickly. So you just get this in, and all you're doing here is making a complete loop in the wire. That's going to be your connection point for your lead at the end. And I'm going to make sure that's really bent tight. Um, we're going to come up here seven or eight inches and we're going to make a bend in the opposite direction. And this one's going to go all the way around so that it's pointed back to the, the first loop that you made. I don't know if you can see that. Then I'm going to take some cutting pliers and I'm going to cut at an angle to make this a knife sharp point that will easily go through the skin behind the jawbone. So that's nice and tight now. The next step is to simply connect your lead and I'm using a zip tie but you could use string, monofilament, whatever's easiest for you, whatever you have on hand. This lead is about an 18 ounce lead. We recommend at least using 18 ounces maybe even a little more for large fish that have a lot of air in their air bladder and that's it so quick and easy this thing will work really nice tune that down so that it's inverted you're going to hook this through the bottom jaw in the thin part of the skin behind the jawbone uh, from the outside in through the fish's mouth this will be tied on to a either a rope line or a heavy rod with heavy lines so that you can simply set the fish in the water and send them to the bottom quickly when you get them down at depth 60 feet plus you can simply pull up on the rod and the fish is going to slide off of this hook so quick and easy um, it's a great way to, to make a simple device that'll work well for you